Hello everyone and welcome to this platform more to chess. In this video I am going to analyze the game between Tamur Rajabov and Magnus Carlsen. Here they both played quite accurately uh, I think from 25 or 20 moves both theoretical all theoretical moves. Here Tamur Rajabov is playing with the white pieces and Magnus with the black pieces so let's just start the game. Here Tamur starts with the move d4. Magnus played knight f6, c4, e6, knight to f3, d5, knight to c3, Magnus played bishop to b4. This defense is known as Ragozin defense of Queen's Gambit deck line. Here, then uh, Rajabo played bishop to g5, and Magnus played d cross c4. This defense is known as Vienna defense, Vienna variation of the Ragozin defense. Now e4, all theoretical opening moves. c5 attacking the center. Bishop cross c4, develop the bishop and try to castle. c cross d4, knight cross d4. And now queen to a5, attacking the g5 bishop and also putting the pressure on the c3 knight. Bishop cross f6, Bishop cross c3 check, B takes c3, and now Queen cross c3 check, and also attacking this Bishop. You cannot play Queen to b2, otherwise uh, White will lose the rook on a1. So King f1 only move. Now Queen cross c4 check, King to g1. Uh, now here many of uh, you wondering that the best move is to take the bishop and you are just become a piece up but g cross f6 is a blunder because after rook to c1 you have to take the rook on c1 there is no other option if you move the king anywhere else then rook cross head check and you will lose the other rook too so this is quite lost for black so the best move here is to play bishop d7 as Magnus played, they are, uh, you know, they are, these are all theoretical lines. They have already prepared bishop to d7. Rajabo played rook to c1, attacking the queen. Queen to b4. And now, since the bishop is attacked, bishop cross g7, attacking the rook. Rook g8, attacking the bishop. Bishop to f6, trying to cement the rook on this f6 square. Now rook g6 attacking the bishop a3 attacking the queen queen to d6 e5 attacking the queen and also cementing the bishop on f6 queen to d5 threatening mate on g2 square f3 preventing it now knight c6 attacking this d4 knight and also the e5 pawn so knight cross c6 only move queen cross d1 black wants to exchange the queens because he is a pawn and also uh, way behind in development rook cross d1 and now bishop cross c6 attacking this f3 pawn because the king is pinned so g takes f3 is not possible so king f2 only move bishop d5 trying to block this open file so black will develop the rook on c8 now rook to c1 c1 itself trying to take the 7th rank king d7 covering this c7 square now white played rook s to d1 his last piece joined the party rook to c8 Rook to c8 is a, is a bit of inaccurate move here. According to the ancients, the best move is to play b5. And the follow up is rook to c5 attacking the pawn and the bishop. Now rook c8, rook takes c8, king takes c8, rook d4, king d7. The main idea of the engine is uh, black have three pawn islands and white have only two pawn islands so uh, and both have a rook <laughs> instead of the opposite color bishop so 
uh, it is quite possible to exploit the weaknesses exploit the more island of black so rook h4 attacking this pawn since it is very weak and cannot be defended very easily a6 h6 rook f4 now trying to attack this pawn uh, a5 bishop h4 attacking this one king e8 and now g4 and the attack goes on king also joins the party so the idea is to you know attack uh, more weaknesses in the black camp uh, but okay black played here rook c8 rook takes c8 king takes c8 now queen d4 uh, the same idea try to exploit all the you know weak square, uh, weak pawns on the black side especially these ones that are, that are isolated and backwards now rook a6 here black uh, try to prevent the rook a4 move which is uh, quite clever from magnus side here Rajagov played rook h4. Rook h4 is a mistake because here rook h4 allows black to exchange the rooks and after exchanging the rook the bishops are opposite colored so uh, the advantage of one pawn uh, is not very much. Uh, I think not much to win the game. Uh, instead of rook h4, uh, engine suggests the best move to be h4, king d7, rook f4 now attacking this rook g6 a4 rook g8 h5 and you know uh, since here white have a majority so white have to push in this side uh, of the board and try to uh, attack as many weaknesses as possible since uh, the rooks are present so opposite color bishop does not matter much here so b6 bishop h4 King e8 try to you know defend the weaknesses g4 a6 and king g3 trying to push as much as possible trying to attack the weaknesses and b5 okay but here uh, Rajko played rook h4 trying to exchange the rooks rook takes h4 bishop takes h4 b5 and here the position is uh, quite much drawish uh, and you cannot do anything one pawn advantage is just imaginary you know you can't convert it king to e3 trying to get the king in center as much as possible king to c7 king d4 king c6 uh, trying to block the entry c5 square bishop d8 roaming the bishop here and there trying to find something bishop c4 Bishop to a5, Bishop f1 attacking g2, g3 attacking f3, f4, Bishop to g4, Bishop d8, h5, Bishop a5, and these are all unnecessary moves. Just try to you know repeat the position. Bishop f5, Bishop d8, a6, Bishop a5, Bishop g4, Bishop d8, Bishop f5 a5 g4 d8 f5 uh, and here the since the position is repeated so the position uh, the game gets drawn okay so that's all for this game if you enjoyed the game uh, give a thumbs up uh, and yeah thank you that's all